What is going on YouTube? I'm Project Shadow and today we are going to be playing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is going to be my first game on Infinite Warfare. I'm on a Warfare Remastered. It, it, the video on my channel wasn't actually my first first gameplay I was like around level 12 when I did my first gameplay but this is actually going to be my first game on Infinite Warfare I haven't played the multiplayer before on here I haven't even I didn't play the beta um, I haven't played the campaign which will be we will be doing a full playthrough of on my channel so be sure to look out for that and I'm sorry if I fuck up half the words I'm trying to say I'm just excited to make videos again and it's been a whole month since I made a video so without further ado we're gonna jump right into some uh, team deathmatch <clears throat> now hopefully we can get to a game that it's not gonna make us join again okay good so Genesis retaliation I, I don't I don't know any of these maps I didn't play the beta at all but we're gonna be hopefully we on silent jokers team Location locked in. oh but if you guys don't know in the upper right hand corner what's really interesting about that which i wish i recorded but it kind of threw me off my it kind of threw me a curveball there because when when you boot up infinite warfare for the first time you get shown a cutscene, you get join a team, and for example, you get you start off with the JT of Wolverines, and it gives you um, certain missions, like our active mission right now is we have to earn five kills, which, God, I hope we do. Uh, but just an FYI, guys, even if I do really, really bad on this game, on this game coming up, I will still be uploading it. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it with Modern Warfare Remastered, but me and my brother just really, really, really wanted to play it. So I do apologize for that. Let's take the fight to the SDF. But I'm not too sure how well this video is gonna do. What is going on? Whoa. Okay. Basically because this game gets a lot of blind hate, but like I said, I I haven't played this game yet. I've heard it plays a lot like Black Ops 3, so Oh, you can move. That's cool. But yeah, hopefully we can do well. It's yeah, you can't slide. That was weird. I don't know what was going on there, but... Whoa, okay. So I guess we have a sonar thing as our tactical. It's gonna show us where the enemies are. I'm guessing that's a frag. Okay. So melees are a two-hit kill. So, we have learned that. Which I I already knew, so I don't even know why I went for a melee there. Hopefully we can get a kill. I oh, saw him. Oh, we got melted. Alright. We got our first kill. Awesome. We're currently 1 and 2, so hopefully we can bring it back, boys. So, like I said before, I don't know how well this game is going to go. Basically because I haven't played this game ever before. So, but like I said, even if we go fucking 1 in 20, I'm still gonna upload it. So, I'm sticking, I'm staying true. I'm hoping we do decently. Here we go. Ah, we're getting shot behind. Frog up! Ooh, there we go. 25 streak away from a UAV. Go. Okay, we're UAV. UAV ready. Ooh, I think I like the feel of this gun. Ah. So, okay, our active mission now is to get 10 kills. We're going 6 and 3, double positive. I like it. But, um, actually I'm liking how this gun game feels. It does feel a bit like... Um, Black Ops 3, but not enough to where I'd say it's like a carbon copy. What the fuck? One thing that is kind of trip tripping me off a little bit is the whole fact that everything is really futuristic. But so far, I actually don't like... I... Whoa, sorry. I actually kind of like how this game feels. It... I don't know. It's definitely... It is a drastic 180 from Modern Warfare Remastered, so... I don't know how people are gonna feel about that. There we go. 
Huh, we already ranked up. Let's go, boys. Ooh. That was some sick music. Alright, so... I don't know if you guys followed very much Black Ops 3, but there was a thing in Black Ops 3 where you could get used specialists. So in this game, they're called combat raids. For, and we got the assault rig, so we got the claw, which I guess is kind of like the scythe. Oh, shit. You suck. Yeah, this guy over here. Ooh, boys. Go ahead and use the claw now. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, we got Scorcher. Which I don't... I guess this is kind of like... I guess that's kind of... Scorchers are kind of like a lightning strike. Did you take a guess? Sorry if you guys can hear my dogs. They've just been randomly barking all night, so... There's nothing really I can do about it. Oh, I got turned on. If you guys saw that, he shot me with a purple gun, which in this game, I don't know how I feel about it, but there are um, different tiers of... Different tier... I can't talk. Different tiers... Am I saying that right? Different tiers of uh, weapons. There's legendaries, rares, all that. I don't know exactly all of it yet. But, wow, I'm getting melted. 16 to 9. Again, I really apologize if you guys can hear the dogs. I don't know what they're barking about. But they seem to really like to bark when I'm recording. Hmm. So, oh, there we go. Alright. Got our revenge and our comeback. I'm actually really liking the MV4 as a... This game isn't nearly as laggy as Black Ops 3 is, and that right there is a big plus in my book. See, the funny thing is, I don't have blind hate for Black Ops 3. Um, back in, like, when the game first launched, I actually really liked it. But when did I, what ended up making me not like Black Ops 3 very much, like, at all, was the whole fact of the connection issues it started to have about midway through its lifespan. And just... I know it wasn't my internet because, like, even on these both Call of Duties now, I have an open and NAT type for both. But yet, on Black Ops 3, I would have a strict or moderate. It was either those two. I never had an open uh, NAT type on Black Ops 3, so and that just it made it so hard. Oh god. Oh what the fuck? Okay. It made it so hard to just get go really, really good consistently, especially when it decided to act up really bad. And I just did a wall run there. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, this game isn't feeling too bad. I love that music you get when you level up. I think he was using a uh, rig or whatever. Oh, I got melted there. Okay. It's a female robot. A fem dog, if you will. There we go. Go ahead and use our claw, I think it's called. Again. This thing is fucking ridiculous. I don't know if I if I'm all for the claw here. It's it's like a siphon steroids. Go ahead and use I like how when you kill and kill streak, it's kind of like on your helmet. You just tap your helmets. I don't know. This game is really futuristic. Oh my god! I thought you were dead body. I don't know how I feel about the dead bodies like floating. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Well, yeah, this game. I don't. I actually kind of like this game. I'm gonna admit it right here. So, it might my, my um, opinion might be subject to change. I died right before. Where did I go? 29 and 13. Oh, I did get the final kill. Nice. Hmm. Good job. I got second on my team, but... Oh, I got a taunt? Oh, no. These are back? Is there going to be dabbing again? Are you fucking kidding me? 
Huh, but for my first game, that was actually a lot of fun. So, as... Okay. But actually, that was actually pretty fun. I did a lot better than I was doing on um, Modern Warfare Remastered, which... I just, it's probably because this game is a lot, this game is probably a lot like um, Black Ops 3, and I played Black Ops 3 a lot. I ranked up to like 340 something, so that's probably why I did so well, but I don't see why this game is hated so much. I get, okay, I can understand it, I'm sorry for um, going off on a spiel, but I just really want to get this out of my um, head, off my chest. I get why people hate it, and people don't like the whole feel of the exo boost, sliding, and all that stuff, but as you guys can see, I did use the exo jump to help me get a couple kills, but the exo jump, or I don't even know if you call it the exo jump, um, I'd say it wasn't very much more than it was on, it's a little bit more fluid than it was, than it is on Modern Warfare Remastered, I can use it a bit more, I definitely need to get back into drop shine for that game, but, um, I can understand where people are not liking this because of the futuristic, because what you guys saw there, that was the most futuristic I've ever seen in Call of Duty. That is pushing it probably even further than Halo, and I played Halo a lot, but it, it feels futuristic. Like, okay, the assault rifle I had wasn't very futuristic, but you guys saw lasers, you saw all this, but I don't know how I feel about the rigs either. The rigs, like the one I had, the claw... I personally use the Re the Reaper with the Scythe a lot in Black Ops 3. Vegas. Sorry if I'm burping so much. I just ate supper. But um, I use the Scythe a lot in Black Ops 3, and it was it was um it was good, but you could get killed pretty easy with the claw. The the amount it shoots and as fast as it shoots, I don't know if it lasts nearly as long as the Scythe does. I don't think it does, or, I, no, I think it's about the same, but that thing shreds. I don't know what's with it, I don't know if they're going to nerf it or whatever, but right now, as I'm, I'm recording on the 5th, it is ridiculously overpowered, and I feel like, in a way, I don't think I ever got it used against me, but it tears through people, and I don't like that idea. It's, it's too... It's going to break it up the consistency, but I don't want to spiel too much and make this like a 30 minute long video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smack that like button. Tell me down in the comments, are you playing Infinite Warfare more or are you playing Modern Warfare Remastered? Or did you just buy Infinite Warfare without Modern Warfare Remastered? But anyway guys, hope you have an awesome day and peace!